Sydney Sweeney seems to have it all. She's in some of the most popular shows on TV right now and on the cover of every magazine, from GQ to Teen Vogue. But life wasn't always this easy for Sydney. From living in a Holiday Inn to being called ugly by Hollywood producers, it's been a long way to the top for the TV star. Keep watching to find out more about Sydney Sweeney's shocking journey. First, how the choice to become an actor tore her family apart. Sydney Sweeney was born in a small town called Spokane, Washington, and had what anyone would consider a normal American family. Two parents, a brother, and a German shepherd named Bella. But Sydney knew from a young age that she she was destined for more. She'd always loved playing pretend and dreamed about doing many different things with her life. When an indie film production came to her small town, she got inspired to take over Hollywood. She was bullied at school as a child for her weight and looks and had her sights set on making it as an actress. Not happy with staying in Spokane even as a child, at just 12 years old, Sydney put together an entire business plan for her acting career and presented it to her parents. She had a five-year plan for her success Success, entailing auditioning for certain films and shows in order to catch the eye of high-level agents and meet important producers who would surely recognize her talent and potential and give her all of the opportunities she deserved. But Sydney's five-year plan, without a doubt, required her to be in Los Angeles, something that most children's parents would laugh at. But Sydney's parents believed in her plan without question, enough to uproot the family's quiet life and begin traveling back and forth between Spokane and Los Angeles so that Sydney could attend auditions. This was not a choice that Sydney's small town understood, leading Sydney to receive bullying phone calls, emails, and texts from friends and strangers alike, criticizing her and her parents' choice. They didn't think that Sydney had what it took to make it as an actress, and they thought her family was foolish for going along with her ambitious plan. But Sydney ignored the comments because she was confident that her plan would work. Next up, how the actress went through years of bullying from classmates and Hollywood producers. Although the beautiful actress now boasts a number of magazine covers to her name, earlier in her career, her looks were a constant source of criticism. Growing up in the industry, Sydney could see that she had a different body type from her competition, something her classmates were also quick to remind her about. But it wasn't just children who were criticizing Sydney's looks. One casting director told her that she would never be on a TV show because she just didn't have the right look. Her weight was frequently criticized, although the actress has never been overweight, just slightly curvier than some of her peers. She's been bullied for her weight, height, skin, nose, and teeth. She's even been told that her hair is the wrong color. The Euphoria star has said all of this criticism led to a dent in her self-confidence that she is still working on correcting today. It led to her spending a lot of time alone as she auditioned for roles for years, not making much of a dent in the industry at all. Next up, the letdown, when even even after five years, she was barely working. Traveling back and forth to LA from Washington quickly began to take a toll on the actress and her family. She was booking parts consistently, but they were small roles, and the pay wasn't anywhere near enough to support the lifestyle that the family had taken on in pursuit of Sydney's dream. Sydney's family was racking up bills from flying back and forth, and the actress was only landing background roles like female student number three. In addition, the bullying from Sydney's small town classmates got so bad that her school had to intervene to try to stop it which only made it worse. During the same time, Sydney's childhood dog Bella passed away. Due to financial problems, their family house in Washington got taken away. With nothing left to keep them in Spokane, Sydney's family ended up deciding to try to save money and make things easier by relocating permanently to Los Angeles. But they soon began facing additional problems. While they were originally living on the outskirts of the city, as rent prices began to go up, they got priced out of the area. Unable to find suitable accommodations within their budget, the family of four were forced to share one room at a Holiday Inn in Burbank. This is where they lived as Sydney continued high school and kept trying to break her way into the industry. Sydney recalls the time as her and her younger brother living the poor version of the sweet life of Zack and Cody. The stressful situation took a toll on Sydney's parents, who ended up getting a divorce. Sydney fantasized that once
Once her five-year plan for her acting career worked out, she would buy her parents' old house in Washington, and they would get back together. When her 18th birthday rolled around and she was still struggling, the actress became depressed. Her five-year plan had failed. Her parents were divorced in part from the financial struggle of their life in L.A., and Sydney was only booking small roles over and over again. But still, she continued to pursue her dream. Just a few months later is when she would begin to book the bigger roles that led to her career now, best known for her roles in The White Lotus, and of course, as Cassie on Euphoria. But Sydney still faces struggles even with all of her success. Although she is light years away from where she was, living in a room at the Holiday Inn and playing bit roles, the actress says her struggle isn't entirely over. The star's tearful PSA about cyberbullying went viral after she took to Instagram Live when viewers online were calling her ugly. She's also faced accusations from critics of using her body to get roles, something the actress is passionate about defending as she sees a double standard in the way male nudity and female nudity is portrayed in the film industry. Sydney has performed nude scenes in HBO's Euphoria, as well as her other show, The Voyeurs. Sydney says, There are hour-long compilations of world-famous male actors with nude scenes who win Oscars and get praised for that work, but the moment a woman does it, it degrades them. She's committed to bringing awareness to the issue and fighting this double standard. Even after Euphoria, Sydney wasn't getting much recognition for her her work. It wasn't until The White Lotus that she really began to get the praise she felt she deserved, and she believes it was because of her nude scenes in Euphoria that critics ignored her intensive efforts and emotional acting. The actress has also shared that it's not just men who have limiting views on what young women can accomplish. She says some of her toughest naysayers have actually been older women. When working as a producer, even with her recent fame and success, she's been told that she can't have her company's name on a project she has developed and can't be given credit for the work until she is more accomplished. Finally, what is Sydney up to now? These days, Sydney has a huge German Shepherd slash Dalmatian rescue dog named Tank to keep her company during the little bit of free time she has between flying from film to photo shoot and shooting HBO's hit series Euphoria. And though she's made the money back a hundred times over, she no longer wants to buy her parents' old house in Washington, saying it wouldn't have the same meaning as when she was struggling in high school. She's even branched out of acting already, enrolling in business school for entertainment law. And on top of that, she also has her own production company, 5050 Productions, which is working on an upcoming project starring singer Halsey. And after all of her struggles with acting, what does Sydney have in the cards coming up? The actress has a number of exciting film projects to look forward to, including the feature National Anthem, a film that explores the hunt for a Native American ghost shirt and which the actress is also producing. The star dyed her signature blonde hair a natural shade of ginger for the role. But while she's busy filming in New Mexico, she has some other, more personal exciting news for the future as well. Sydney has recently been engaged to her boyfriend Jonathan Devino, who she's been with since 2018. The pair have kept their relationship mostly under wraps for the last few years, but Sydney couldn't hide the large diamond ring she's been rocking on her left hand recently. The pair were also spotted celebrating in Hawaii. It seems like all of Sydney's dreams are coming true. So there you have it. That's everything we know about Sydney Sweeney's acting struggles before she made it big when she was cast in recent shows The White Lotus and Euphoria. What other actors' pre-fame days do you want to hear more about? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.